wouldn't it suck to be a deaf person with like really, really bad arthritis in your knuckles? Like how would you talk to anyone with that? Alright, well enough bragging on that. <laughs> so I like to watch telemarketing and just to see the stupid shit people will buy. And today I found a really, really good deal. For $9.95, you two can have salvation. It turns out I was watching out of the church network, but they're getting into that too now, so it's fine. But sometimes I do watch that. I'm not a very religious person, but I watch it and I watch all the pastors, and they're all so excited about God. And you know, I really think before they go up there, they listen to a fucking James Brown CD, because ever since into the. Alright. And God feel. Hold on, I thank God for some serious shit there. I need to hear this. <laughs> Girls come up to me all the time, and it's not like they're hitting on me or anything. They just come up to me and tell me, you know, the awkward situations they've been in. Oh my God, like this one time, I was talking about my ex boyfriend, you know, the ex one, the last one, and I was just talking bad shit about him, and all of a sudden he came up, and it was so awkward. I'm like, look, I don't think that's fucking awkward. I think the most awkward thing is when you're in the back seat of the car. In the past, in the driver's seat, a black guy, and the passenger is an Asian, and you listen to black and yellow and watch them talk back and forth. <laughs> oh, fuck, how am I going to get killed for that? <laughs> uh, but on the point of black people there, I will have to take their side on this. They're a lot easier to talk to about sex. You go out to the white guy, and they have to give you details over everything. She laid down, she gave me some great head first. And of course, you know I'm wrecked from this. <laughs> and so I climb on top of it, I see that. But even though I see that big, I start going, and I thrust, and then I came. So all these details you don't want to know at all. And then you go up to a black guy, and you're like, well, did you have sex with that girl? And the only response is, she. <laughs> Right there, it saves you all the great details you didn't want to fucking know. You're like, and you're like, oh, he must have had sex with that girl. I don't know how, I don't know what he did, but he did it good. She. <laughs> and I've been in Georgia my entire life. I think Atlanta's probably the greatest city in the world, first off. <laughs> but why is it so fucking boring? And the news teams aren't that smart, because last week I was watching the news, and, well, not last week, like two weeks ago when all those tornadoes and thunderstorms hit. And you know what the news told me? Don't fucking drown. <laughs> Didn't understand that at all. I wasn't planning to go outside and just go under the water as I was building up and just, like, hold my fucking breath. <laughs> well, this is the safest place to be in a tornado right now. <laughs> and then about uh, two months ago, I don't know if any of you saw this, but just to show the excitement of Georgia, uh, they had a fucking pig that was loose on I-75, and I sat there and I watched the news for 30 minutes, <laughs> and I watched cops chase a fucking pig <laughs> by I-75. <laughs> they never caught me. <laughs> and two hours later, when they're doing the next news, oh, well, the loose pig was finally caught. Uh, you know, big, really, story. Apparently no one was murdered. There's nothing going on in Iraq right now, so we're going to tell you about this. Uh, Charlie Sheen has been snorting any cocaine lately, so uh, the pig is up for adoption, by the way, uh, for a few thousand dollars, if any of you are down for that. And you know what? Someone actually fucking bought the pig. <laughs> it was loose on a highway. You don't think it's going to get loose next to your fucking place? <laughs> really? I mean, fucking pig. And honestly, I should have planned more material, I think. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I timed this on my phone several times, and it was like, oh, well, perfect five minutes there. But apparently it's not. And, uh, so now I'm just going to stand up here. Uh, <laughs> like this? <laughs> you know, it's always good to be a big guy in comedy, though, because if you're looking for a laugh, you can just walk and trip, because everyone laughs in fatty balls. <laughs> Comedians like Gabriel Iglesias. <laughs> what does he do besides say he's fluffy? <laughs> All the fuck he does, and guess what? Millions of dollars. Where's mine? <laughs> well, I'm Josh Ryan, that's all the time I have. And, uh,